uh, what Souk does to so I look we especially in uh, we felt in Egypt specifically we uh, we really had a hard time in Egypt staffing our teams like you just don't have enough skill the, the education and really is not geared toward internet and e-commerce uh, it was very inherent for us if we want to develop the ecosystem around that we have to work with and, and offer employment so there are many CSR programs uh, and funding programs in Egypt, but we felt the funding was not really developing the skill set of these people to be able to be a factor in a white collar society such as e-commerce and online. And we worked with, uh, there's a, a, a whole initiative uh, for uh, Egypt for employment and it's a, we take basically people, and there are stories, someone was a carpenter, homeless, like really people, whose society has kind of written them off, and we take them, onboard them, teach them how to type on a computer, teach them photography, and these guys now are ambassadors with all these merchants to create content, and the team, we take a lot of pride when we meet these people. So, I, my biggest goal is can we create jobs for people? That's the only CSR I know how to do. That's the only CSR I will focus on, because we have a, we have a, high, we have a, a young population, that uh, we have high birth rates in most of our markets and we're attracting also others from other countries as well and and this entrepreneurship ecosystem and e-commerce and merchants and, and, and third-party selling just creates a job platform. I, we did a study, we were five engineers, we became a thousand employee, 70,000 merchants. Some merchants, 30% of our merchants have two to three employees so that's another 30,000 merchant that has 100,000 employees. So that got us to 170. We have about 2,000 couriers per city working with us. So that gets us to 12 cities, another 250,000, 220,000 couriers. That almost gets us to 250,000 people from three engineers in Amman. So I think that is what we can give back to society. And and you'll ultimately, his business will grow and he'll hire people. And the minute he hires, I don't hope you have to do that, the minute he hires more people, because of Souk, I feel like we've done an awesome job for, the, for the, all the countries we work with in terms of opportunity. This has been the mission beyond the mission for Souk. It's like the bigger picture where the goal is not only Souk, is the creating this opportunity for others, but centered around our business model, so ultimately also the shareholders that have invested in us and believed in the region when there was a revolution in Egypt, we're still investing in Egypt and paying the team, uh, works. So it has to kind of be balanced out. But I think for me, the ultimate goal is can we employ a million people around Sue? That would be an amazing thing that no government can actually do overnight.